This video will show you how to solve multi-step equations. This is going to be equations where you have a bunch of stuff on both sides of the equal sign. The number one thing you want to do is simplify each side completely by eliminating parentheses and then combining any like terms, if there are any. Then get your variables to one side of the equal sign and your numbers to the other. If you have like terms on opposite sides of the equal sign, you must do the opposite to get them together and then get x alone by dividing by the coefficient if necessary. So let's take a look at an example. Here we've got parentheses and some like terms, so work on each side of the equal sign to get things as simplified as possible. The first thing you want to do is distribute this 3 through the parentheses, which is going to give us 6x minus 15 plus 8. On this side, I went ahead and combined those like terms and got 8x minus 3. The right side is as simplified as it's going to get. However, the left side, we've got some like terms right there. Negative 15 plus 8, those are like terms. They are different signs. Keep the sign of the larger, which is negative, and subtract those. So your left side becomes 6x minus 7. If you watch the other video about solving equations with variables on both sides of the equal sign, you know what to do here. We want to get our x's to one side and our numbers to the other. I always begin with the x's and I'm going to subtract 6x from both sides. I could have subtracted 8x from both sides, but by subtracting 6x from both sides, I'm going to keep a positive x, which is a good idea. Those x's cancel out, and we're going to have negative 7 equals 2x minus 3. This is now a two-step equation. Trying to get this x alone, add 3 to both sides. Those 3's cancel out. Negative 7 plus 3, those are different signs. Keep the sign of the larger, which is negative, and subtract those. Gives us 2x equals negative 4. 2 times x needs to be undone by dividing by 2, which gives us x equals negative 2. And I didn't write out the check like I did on the others. The checking starts to get more complicated, but if you do want to check, you put negative 2 in for that x, you put negative 2 in for that x, and that x, and do all the arithmetic, and the two sides should be equal to each other. If you're going to check, you always want to check in the original equation, not one of these equations down here. Let's take a look at another one. On the left side, we have some like terms here, 11x minus 17x. Over here, we need to distribute this negative through the parentheses. The negative in front of the parentheses tells me to take what's inside the parentheses and change the signs. So on the left side, I have 11 minus 17x is negative 6x minus 9. On the right side, I'm distributing that negative. The negative turns that positive 2x into a negative 2x, turns that positive 8 into a negative 8. The left side is already simplified. The right side has some like terms with 6 minus 8. So the 6 minus 8 gives me negative 2, and there's your negative 2x. Now it's time to get my x's together. I'm going to add 2x to both sides in this case, only because some people like to have your x's always on the left side, and that's okay. I'm going to add 2x to both sides. That's going to give me a negative 4x, but sometimes you have to deal with the negative, so you have to know how to deal with them. These two x's cancel, just giving us negative 2 right there. It is now down to a two-step equation. Let's add 9 to both sides. Those cancel and I will have negative 4x equals 7 because these are different signs. Keep the sign of the larger, which is positive, and subtract. This is negative 4 times x. To undo that multiplying by negative 4, I need to divide by negative 4, not just 4, divide by negative 4. These negative 4s cancel out, giving us x alone, which is what we're trying to get, and we get 7 over negative 4. That is the same as negative 7 fourths. You can leave your answer with this, but if you are looking at a multiple choice test, the answer would look more like this than this. So it's possible that these answers work out to be fractions. A common mistake on a problem like this is for students to do 10 minus 2 is 8, and then distribute the 8 through the parentheses. What you have to remember here is this 2 in front of the parentheses means 2 times. Order of operations tells me I need to multiply before I do any adding and subtracting. So don't fall into that trap where you put those together. Get the distributing done first. So on the left side, I distributed negative 2 times 4 gives me negative 8x. 
negative 2 times negative 5 gives me positive 10. On the right side, I had some like terms right here. 18 minus 7 gives me 11. Next thing on this side, I still have some like terms I can put together. I have 10 plus 10 is 20 minus 8x. The right side didn't change at all. Now it's time to solve. The easiest thing to do now is to add 9x to both sides because those are going to cancel. Here, negative 8x plus 9x, those are different signs. Keep the sign of the larger and subtract, which just gives us 20 plus x equals 11. To get this x alone, I just need to get rid of that positive 20 by subtracting 20 from both sides. Those cancel, and I'm going to have x equals negative 9 for my answer. So you need to get everything simplified best you can so that you can end up with numbers and x's on one side, numbers and x's on the other, and then go through your solving routine of either adding or subtracting something to get your x's to one side and your numbers to the other.